Welcome back. Super excited moving forward. By this time, you've practiced several times, not only installation of Android Studio, but also working briefly with your first app, identifying the main activity and activity underscore main.xml file. So this is something that I earlier demonstrated in several lessons. So by the time now, you should be comfortable with uh, the environment of how you work within Android Studio. So here we have our first app, which is the XML kind of viewer, and then we have our AVD, which is a virtual device. And we can take a look at our app and see how our app looks like within the actual Android phone. And it kind of matches and says my first app, it says my first app, and my first app here as well. But in this lesson, I want to show you importantly a good programming practice or coding practice. So if you're a programmer, that's fine. But you like to know that typically it is good to avoid hard-coded strings and what I mean by this is for example directly within my activity main.xml I can always change the name here which displays right in the center of my app okay my first app so for instance if I were to change this name to say it's going to reflect of course within the viewer and it's going to do the same if I apply the changes, which is using this tool on this menu. It says apply changes. So once I apply the change, of course, the Gradle build is going to run again. So every time you change something, of course, you build it again, right? So it's just like, think of this as a house. So if you put one brick, then you build again, right? And then you put a window, and then you put a door, and then you make other changes. Then you come into the interior side and the exterior and so on. So same thing with building an app you're actually building something right so app building works in similar fashion so if you change something build it again change another thing build it again and of course once the build is complete you can view it in your emulator as well even though it just shows here my app id awesome right so that's a good spelling mistake of course it reflects within the emulator as well that's only after you commit the changes so i'm going to fix this quick spelling mistake all right perfect and then apply changes again and let this one in the background but I want to show you importantly here is how to avoid hard-coded strings and what do we mean by this well this means that if I hard code this text within the text view which is right here within my app this is this could cause problems in the longer run as you develop more activities more views your group views this hard-coded string is going to stay okay so for instance if I were to show you next is how to avoid the hard-coding programming practice okay so let's go ahead and I want to go ahead and remove this and I want to say and then the app now as soon as I do this notice what happens here it displays the name of the app deliver card right so how did it Go about doing so right i didn't type the name here what happened well that's exactly what i mean by not hard coding so you're not hard coding here you're letting android do the job for you or letting the code do the job for you parameters working for you instead of hard coding typing the name so how do we know where is this coming from so let me navigate to my folder pane here and then within my app and then i have another folder called base here so within this particular folder if i expand source go to main and then recall the res folder so quick homework right what was the quick quiz pop quiz rather the res folder stands for the resource folder perfect so i'm going to expand the resource folder and within my resource folder i have a bunch of folders this is the drawable folder this is where basically i'm going to keep all my images and then I also have, let's see, the values folder. So I'm going to expand the values folder. And within this folder, I have three XML files. So I have colors, strings, and styles.xml. So I'm going to go ahead and click on styles and open this XML. And it kind of shows you the styles of this particular or the theme of my standard app that I'm using. Of course, in the next few lessons, I'm going to demonstrate how to customize your theme. So similarly, if I go to strings.xml, 
Perfect. So this is where we actually find our app name. So our app name is Deliver Car. So if I change the app name here to let's say capital letters, right? I'm gonna make it all caps just so that I can demonstrate, right? So as soon as I do this, let's go back to our activity main and then notice what happens. Perfect. So you're not hard coding the actual app name here. Okay, so just wanted to quickly demonstrate in this short lesson how to avoid hard coding. And then of course in the next lesson we are going to get into, I'm going to demonstrate how to add or change the theme. So for instance, if I were to change the colors of the app here, right? What happens, what is the primary color? And again, same things in color.xml. If I go here, notice I have three color sets. I have primary color, I have color primary dark, and then I have color accent. And it kind of shows me here that this is my primary color, and then the next one is the primary dark color, and then so on. But I'm gonna leave that to the next lesson. Here I wanted to just show you to avoid uh, sometimes a simple mistake, sometimes we overlook things, but you want to be able to use and make sure that you use or you do not hard code any of the coding. So practice with this. Also explore some of these folders. If you have any questions, post them in the discussion area. With this, let's move to the next lesson.